What is going on everyone, the Ice HD here back with another quick tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to record your Xbox One gameplay without needing a recording device such as a HD PVR or Elgato and things like that. So the first thing you're going to need is uh, Windows 10. So you can get the inside preview which I have now or I think it officially comes out, just check here, on the 29th of July. And it's a free update from Windows 8, 8.1, 7. I'm not sure about Vista or things like that. But, so, once you get Windows 10, what you want to do is open the Xbox app they have here, and you can connect your account and connect to your Xbox. And then, once that's all set up, the next thing you are going to want to get is a screen rec recording software for your PC. So there are plenty of free ones out there. Um, I personally choose to use Camtasia, but I'm not going to use it uh, for this video just so uh, in this tutorial because I'm going to be using it to record the video so I'm actually going to use the built-in one that comes with the Xbox app uh, when, I'm, when I'm recording the gameplay so once you have all that set up you're going to want to go to the connected tab and as you can see I'm connected to my Xbox and I can simply just click stream which is going to bring up everything on my Xbox One uh, onto my PC screen and you can plug in your Xbox controller to your PC with the USB cable and as you can see here I can move around just as if I was on the console connected to the TV and so then you can just click on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and so whilst you're doing this you would have already clicked record on your recording screen recording program so this is all recording and it'll just save to your computer and you can edit it on your editing program as if it was just straight out of a HD PVR. So see loading cut like this. Yeah, it's just as if I was playing on my Xbox. So I'm not sure if this will actually work, but I'm going to try and use the built-in Xbox One. As you can see here, so I have this little tab coming up here. Oh, sorry. So when you're using Camtasia, you should get a little thing like this, but it'll look a bit different. And you can just hit record like so. That's going to start recording, and I can go through the game like so. And depending how long this is going to take, I might cut it and come back. And right, here we go. All right, so find a match, standard playlists. I want to play some team deathmatch quickly. Depending on how long it takes us to find the game. Trying to join. Alright, so we're in. And you should be able to see here that there won't be any delay or anything like that. It's going to be as if, like I've said before, exactly like you're playing on your console. And once again, the quality of your recording is going to depend on what software you're using. That's why I prefer to use Camtasia uh, version 8.5. And it's also, also going to depend on uh, your render settings when you get it out of After, Effect, After Effects or Sony Vegas. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to play too much, I just want to give you guys an idea of what the gameplay is like. Alright, already dead. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do for now. I'm going to stop the stream. And so yeah, that's all you're going to need to do. So now I'm going to hit Windows G again to get the Xbox record thing back up. And that should be recorded. I'm just going to browse my files, go to captures, and everything I've just played here is there. Depending on what uh, program you're going to use, it'll be saved somewhere else. And you can just load that straight into your editing program. So um, I hope this helps, guys. Any questions, just let me know. And I'll be back soon with more tutorials. Thanks for watching.